After years of playing the field, Kevin Costner finally settles down. Kevin Costner has had a crazy love life over the years. The actor has been through a lot romantically and has dealt with falling in love, deception, heartbreak, infidelity, and divorce. For a while, the Yellowstone star lived the single life and embraced it. Things have changed for Kevin, and after years of dating, affair, divorce, Kevin Costner finds love again. It took a while to get there, and you're about to learn more about Kevin's journey that finally led to happiness. Living the Single Life Kevin spent most of the 90s loving the single life, dating girl after girl with very little time in between. The actor's dating behavior earned him a reputation as an A-list womanizer, and people believe he'd never change his ways. Hollywood Rumors Kevin's wild ways, womanizing, and unpredictable lifestyle made him the subject of Hollywood rumors and tabloid headlines. He was never shy about admitting his wrongdoings but tried to keep his personal life private, which most Hollywood celebs know isn't possible. Before the fame and fortune, there was a time that Kevin was a one-woman man and married his college sweetheart. Unfortunately, Kevin's success came with plenty of temptation that he couldn't resist. First Love Cindy Silva was Kevin's first love. The pair first met while attending California State University at Fullerton. In a 1989 interview, Kevin said Cindy was beautiful, sweet, and smarter than he was. The actor said that Cindy represented everything that he loved about a woman. In 1978, the couple married and had three children together, Annie, Joe, and Lily. Sadly, the couple's happiness didn't last forever. Ending the Marriage Cindy and Kevin worked together on his critically acclaimed film, Dances with Wolves. Shortly after filming ended, rumors of Kevin's infidelity began to emerge, and the couple did everything they could to save their marriage. Sadly, the couple couldn't get their marriage back on track, and in 1994, the couple announced their divorce in a joint statement that read, After 16 years together, we are ending our marriage. We have amicably resolved all issues regarding our children and financial affairs, and a full marital settlement has been reached. Foreshadowing The future divorce was foreshadowed during a 1987 interview when the actor told the reporter that he has a thirst and a taste for big things. The actor admitted that he hated living by somebody else's rules and believed he was missing out on something. Looking back, the Yellowstone star hinted that his marriage to Cindy wasn't going well. Fans were shocked when they learned about the divorce, but Kevin's friends and co-workers weren't surprised. Marriage is hard just before the divorce news went public, Kevin sat down with the Daily News for an interview and opened up about his feelings. He admitted that the temptations were strong and the world was always waiting for him to fail. The actor revealed that dabbling in temptation came with a high price and tried to conduct himself with discretion and dignity. Kevin also admitted during the interview that marriages were very hard. A Secret Affair Shortly after Kevin's divorce, he had a fling with Bridget Rooney, whose family owns and operates the Pittsburgh Steelers NFL franchise. She also starred in the 2011 movie Zombie or Not Zombie. The relationship didn't last long, and according to reports, the couple began dating in 1995 and ended things in 1996. Kevin wanted to keep the affair quiet and away from the media's prying eyes, but a scandal eventually surfaced, changing the actor's plans. A Son the secret of Kevin and Bridget's affair came out in 1996 when Bridget gave birth to a son, Liam Costner, the actor's fourth child. The actor's relationship with his son was strained at first, and he only recognized Liam as his son after Bridget insisted he take a paternity test. When the results proved Liam was Kevin's son, he opened up a trust fund for the boy and only saw Liam occasionally. Cheating on Cindy Although it's never been confirmed, Kevin allegedly cheated on his wife, Cindy, with actress Halle Berry in 1989. Halle's career was starting at the time, and she appeared in 12 episodes of Living Dolls. Neither Kevin nor Halle ever confirmed the rumor, but they've remained friends over the years and have been seen together on various occasions. Michelle Pfeiffer A year after Kevin's rumored affair with Halle Berry, the Dancing with Wolves star was in the tabloids regarding another romance with Michelle Pfeiffer, who rose to fame after playing Elvira Hancock in the 1983 classic movie Scarface. Michelle and Kevin's supposed former flame, Halle Berry, have one thing in common. The two women played Catwoman during their careers. Bobby Jean Brown 
With all the romantic rumors going around about Kevin, it isn't a shock that another woman claims to have dated the Yellowstone actor. Bobby Jean Brown is an actress, model, and beauty contestant and is most famous for her role in Warren's music video, Cherry Pie. In her memoir, Dirty Rocker Boys, Love and Lust on Sunset Strip, Bobby revealed the details of her fling with Kevin. In the book, Bobby admits she was a mess at the time and started a fire in Kevin's home. Another Kiss and Tell Memoir Bobby isn't the only woman to share personal details about a romance with Kevin Costner. Peggy Trentini was a model and actress in the 80s and 90s and opened up about her relationship with the Field of Dreams star in her memoir, Once Upon a Child, Celebrity Kiss and Tell Stories. Since releasing her book, Peggy left the spotlight to focus on her career in real estate. Cheating on Cindy Again When he was married to Cindy, monogamy wasn't an issue for Kevin. He's rumored to have had another affair while still married to Cindy. In 1993, a year before Kevin and Cindy's divorce was final, he had an affair with the actress Mira Sorvino. The affair happened before Mira's star rose and she only had a few film credits on her acting resume. The affair was short-lived, and in 1995, Mira got her big break after her award-winning role in Woody Allen's 1995 romantic comedy, Mighty Aphrodite. A Rebound Relationship Holly Sampson is an actress and model who goes by the name Nicolette Foster, Andrea Michaels, and Zoe, and she claims to have had a brief relationship with Kevin in 1994. The same year, he and Cindy divorced. The actress appeared in several shows, including The Wonder Years, Beauty and the Beast, Matlock, and My Two Dads. She appeared in just one episode in each show and became an adult actress, starring in Bedtime Stories, Thrills, and Lady Chatterley Stories. Dating a Supermodel Kevin and Naomi Campbell dated in the mid-90s, but the affair didn't last long. Naomi started modeling when she was 15 and became one of the most recognizable faces in the modeling world. Another fling with an actress Kevin was a womanizer for years, and according to rumors, he had a short fling with actress Karen Resnick, best known for her roles in Clara's Heart and Her Alibi. Following her rumored relationship with the Yellowstone star, Karen married film director John Byram in the late 90s. Nobody can confirm if Kevin and Karen were really a thing, but based on Kevin's womanizing ways, there's a good chance it's true. A Hotel Scandal Kevin found himself in the middle of a scandal in 2006 when he was accused of lewd behavior while getting a massage at a five-star hotel two years earlier. Many people believed the story until one of Kevin's exes came to his defense. Bridget Cunningham issued a statement saying that the actor is romantic and tender and would never do anything so vulgar. She said that Kevin was Mr. Perfect, squeaky clean, and a bit naive regarding the effect he had on girls. Angie Everhart In 1995, Kevin was seen having dinner with Angie Everhart, a former actress and model, and appeared in numerous Sports Illustrated swimsuit issues. In 2000, the model posed for Playboy. Just before the couple was seen out together, there were rumors that Kevin was trying to reconcile with his ex-wife, Cindy. Not long after the dinner date, Angie began dating and married Ashley Hamilton, an actor, singer-songwriter, and comedian. A Fling with Monica Geller According to inside sources, Kevin and Courtney Cox, who became famous due to her role as Monica Geller on Friends, had a brief relationship in 1995. Six years later, Kevin and Courtney worked together in the film 3,000 Miles to Graceland. David Arquette also appeared in the movie and married Courtney later. Cheryl Teagues 1995 was a big year for Kevin's love life. After having flings with Angie Everhart and Courtney Cox, and you can add Cheryl Teagues to the list. Cheryl is an American fashion designer and model and is considered the first American supermodel. Like all of Kevin's other relationships, he and Cheryl's relationship didn't last long. A Fight with Cal Ripken Jr. One of the biggest rumors around Kevin Costner was a fight between him and baseball star Cal Ripken Jr. Kevin starred in several baseball films and became friends with the baseball player. According to the story, Cal and his wife were staying at Kevin's house and was caught red-handed having an affair with Cal's wife, and he roughed up Kevin on the spot. 
The whole thing was so upsetting to Kale that his record-breaking consecutive game streak was at risk. So the Baltimore Orioles canceled the upcoming game. They claimed there was an electrical failure, but those who know the baseball star knew it was because he caught his wife cheating. Another 1995 affair, Kevin? Joan London is another woman Kevin dated in 1995. Joan became famous for her role in co-hosting ABC's Good Morning America from 1980 to 1997. The relationship lasted only a short time due to the overbearing attention from the media. Kevin was promoting his new movie, Waterworld, and the press wanted to hear more about the actor's love life than the film. According to Joan, their first date on a yacht was beautiful and romantic. She believes the relationship would have lasted longer if the press hadn't been so focused on them as a couple. More Notches on Kevin's Belt Kevin's womanizing continued and he had a few more flings before settling down. The actor dated Australian model and TV host Elle McPherson. The couple lived together, but the relationship ended just before their first anniversary. After the relationship ended, Kevin dated Carla Bruni, an Italian-French singer-songwriter and model. Kevin still wasn't ready to settle down and started dating Miss America Tawny Little for less than a year. Next, the actor moved on to Kelly Preston, who's married to John Travolta. The rumors have never been addressed, but according to the National Enquirer, John was furious. The One After moving from woman to woman for a few years, Kevin crossed paths with Christine Baumgartner, a model and handbag designer and much younger than Kevin. The couple met years earlier when Kevin was playing golf to practice for his role in Tin Cup. The Yellowstone actor admitted he wasn't prepared to fall in love again when Christine came into his life, but he fell in love with her anyway. Kevin wasn't ready to have children with Christine and the couple split in 2002. Taking the Plunge During his separation from Christine, Kevin realized he was letting his fear of commitment get in the way of his happiness, and he didn't want to lose such a beautiful woman over being afraid to have children. He finally came to his senses, and the couple married at Kevin's estate in Aspen, Colorado in September 2004, with 300 guests in attendance. Becoming a Father Again Kevin and Christine were married for three years before Christine gave birth to their first son, Caden, in May 2007. Kevin took time away from the spotlight to focus on his family, and the couple's son, Hayes, was born in 2009, and their daughter, Grace, was born in 2010. This is forever. Kevin finally felt his life falling into place with Christine and their family, and Kevin was very devoted to his wife. His womanizing ways were behind him, and there were no rumors of extramarital affairs. The couple has been married for 18 years and is still going strong, and Kevin is a wonderful father to his seven children. Who says a playboy can't change his ways?